So it's now October 3rd. Um, I'm actually here at our office in Cyprus at Toyo HQ. I drove the car today because I'm going to drop it off at LTMW to get painted. Uh, you can see the kit's already installed. We have the rivets on. And it's just ready for paint. Took out all the doors, all the door parts. It's October 3rd right now, so I'm assuming it's gonna take a week and a half for paint and uh, assembly in another week or so. Uh, his painter Felix is really damn good. I mean, you don't even need a, to uh, buff the car after if you don't want to. Um, I came in, I didn't even buff it. So he's really good right out of the box. It's perfect. So Felix and I were talking about the colors we're gonna use. He gave me this little sample. This is the Ferrari Rosso Red that I kept talking about. And it's uh, it's pretty nice on the sun. It's looks pretty damn good. I know there's a freaking Ferrari here somewhere in a sea of cool cars. You got this Huracan. Long RWB 996 slant nose 2 STI with the with the OIRAM kit Rocket Bunny FRS the uh, Maserati I drove the other day or the other week and Cayman Gang got new wheels though I still don't like this wing. I like the wheels though. So no Ferrari, but this red though. I might have to go with this. Should put this side by side with the Mazda red. I think this is a little brighter. Oh yeah, look at that. Way brighter. A little bit, huh? Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, Normal. No, I I put it here, here for plus. Oh, okay. For plus complete. Well, a little bit of filler. Yeah. For, yeah, same thing. So it's clean. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Okay, take one. So while I'm here at LTMW to get my Miata painted. Let's take a look at their junkyard. No, I'm just kidding. It's not really a junkyard. It's just their parking lot. But it looks like a freaking junkyard. Just a bunch of cool cars. Um, here is a 3 Series wagon with a WTCC kit. Fancy Huracan with a crazy livery. Got Long's RWB 993. This is a 996 that's going to be converted into a slant nose um, version 2 kit from old new. The difference is they have headlights now. Before they had vents there and the headlights were down there. Um, here is an 86 Rocket Bunny kit, tandem, same thing. This is the Oiram uh, Subaru STI kit. Here is a, I think it's a 2002. 
This is a fancy old school, what is this, like a six series? Don't quote me on that. 997, that's gonna go RSR wide body. Here is an R32 Pandem kit. This is long script in the car. Corolla, Pandem, uh, Cayman, just like mine. Kind of similar wheels, except the wing's a little bit different. Here's the front end of that kit, the uh, Subaru. 2002, 6, 997, 86. Here is the Liberty Walk Maserati. Back here is an RC350. He's getting the uh, version one Rocket Bunny kit on. Another M3. I think this is a used to be a Liberty Walk M3. I think Long's rebuilding it. A little wagon here. We got Long's unfinished E30 Pandem. Someday it'll be done. A crashed, it looks like it's a crashed SI. I'm not sure if it's getting painted and whatnot. Um, but that's pretty much the whole area here. Full of soon to be SEMA cars and uh, show cars. I like it. See? I like it like this because I, yeah. I don't like rubber. The plastic stuff. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I put it complete everything. Very good. You see? Does I, I need fix. Okay, so the master fitter right here. Master. Check that one. Ooh, that's smooth. So this side of my PMP here. I like it. Actually, I was going to... This is going to get a... Uh, oh, you sand already, huh? Yeah. To smooth? Yeah, smooth. Perfect. Yeah, it's, it's ready for priming. Yeah. It's like this. It's like kind of a little wavy huh, on top. Yeah. So this needs sanding still? I need sanding, but the wavy don't take it. I need, I need a little... A little bit? You need a little body lace? Uh, I like it smooth if possible. So maybe... You did a sample? It's not a sample, but I, I just I just pay. That's it, huh? Do it. I'm gonna spray right now so I can show you. Can you do a half on this? What do you mean? It's a split. Oh you want a half and half? Yeah, on this. On that? Yeah, will it fuck it up? Yeah, because it has a red oh, you're already. Just make me another one then. Yeah, I'll make another one. Okay. So here's the M3 red that we're shooting a sample. Uh, compare with the Ferrari Rosso Red. All right, October 6th. Everything is ready to go. Everything's been primered. He still needs to sand this down because of some pinholes and then it's off to paint. The bumpers, the side markers have been shaved off front and back. They used um, some sort of plastic glue right there you can see that some sort of plastic glue to adhere to the plastic without cracking now yeah, there's some fine items you need to touch up like the uh, bolt holes right here there's some little chips on the fiberglass i think they just need to use filler for that so as you can see there's a little bit of uh chipping around the bolt hole you probably won't see it but i don't like it so 
we're gonna fill that up. All right, so here's the current state of the car. Um, everything's been primed, well, as far as the fenders. I mean, they're gonna prime the whole car, uh, I think, Monday. Um, but they filled it up with Bondo. Uh, not too much, because we did a filler piece instead of cutting slits and hammering it up. So that kind of minimized the Bondo usage. The trunk, well, the trunk is new, so not much work there. The antenna has been deleted, which is nice. That's kind of smooth. Uh, door dings removed. We're also getting rid of the, the texture here, you know, the OE Miata texture, as well as this line here that you can't really see right now, but it's there. We are also undercoating the whole car so all this right here will be black we've actually pushed this whole tab in there's a big tab that came out um, so that kind of took some time but i think i think we'll be all right we probably don't need to push that in the tires we're using they're kind of big they're like 24.5 OD, so we'll see about that. Engine bay, clean as usual, it's just a little dusty because of the bodywork. But we should be okay. All right, so here's our interior right now. Um, OE seats, no door panels because we're getting this thing painted. Uh, the steering wheel looks like well, it's original, it's falling apart. Carpet is a little bit dodgy looking. Um, and the center console is pretty beat up. So what we're gonna do after this thing's painted is we're gonna swap out the center console, change out the door panels, put some Recaros on, our roll bar, uh, our Momo steering wheel and quick release new carpet and pedals really simple really um, we have a new shifter that's going in this one's cool but the new shifter we're putting in is a lot cooler also we need new speakers because this thing is beat up look at that thing Looks like someone kicked it I don't know how they did that with a freaking door cover on but it happened I also bought a new gauge cover you can't tell, but the uh, the old clear cover is a little bit scratched up. Not sure how that happened from the original owner, but it's scratched up. So that'll be new. The headliner, or the headliner, I mean the uh, roof has a headliner. This is a brand new production uh, hardtop from Mazda. I got this straight from Japan, shipped two days in a crate. Pretty badass. Not cheap, but pretty badass. Um, comes with everything you could possibly need, including the side panels. These panels. Um, these panels I actually cut because I didn't know it came with the panels. So if you buy a new hardtop from Mazda, it comes with all the clips, the side um, the side little latches, all the uh, locks, and the new trim panel. So we're basically scuffing up the insides so we can primer this bitch. Cleaning up the glass here before we paint this bad boy. Fuck you are. Who do you think you are? The big dog? Huh? The big dog, you fuck. I'm the fucking big cat. You kid. 
Please, Mr. Dog, take it. Take it, Mr. Dog. I don't want to see you here no more. You guys have a funky relationship around here. Huh? You guys are funky around here. <laughs> Can't tell if you guys are fucking around or not. <laughs> All right, so right now I'm filling up the uh, pinholes with putty. Making sure we don't have pinholes in our paint job. Oh, just drop that piece. So like stuff like this that you can't really see. Boom, fill it up. See, I'm not sure if you can see that, but. Putty, putty, putty everything. When in doubt, putty it up. Look at all that. Oh shit. So man. in order to fill all that. Oh, he's gonna have to sand it down, right? Or just prime the hole. Right oh, because he didn't even prime it yet, huh? Well, he primed it while he fixed right here. Mm -hmm. He didn't prime it the hole right here. So all over right here is just rough chips. Dude, he's gonna get pissed at us, man. Who? Chewie's gonna get pissed at us. 